Hello friends, fans and enemies, welcome to another Zane Destiny video. This will be another my package video on some recent purchases as well as some prizes that finally came in the mail. So the first one is from Usagi Draws. Yes I bought more stuff and it's the Beelzemon binder. Uh, just put it out there, not affiliated with Usagi Draws but I've been buying quite a decent amount of stuff from them because well they had some Mastermon stuff, some Beelzemon stuff and obviously some Beelzemon stuff that I had to get my meaty claws on. So this is the binder, it comes in a really snazzy box. Um, it did obviously come in a delivery parcel but I've taken it off so I don't dox myself. But you got a really nice image of Beelzemon in front there. Um, oh that's his dreads. I wonder what those were for us. I thought they were like bullet wounds coming out of him. And you get this cool um, little logo thing with basically like the characteristics of Beelzemon. So if I were to read it out, so code gluttony level 666, system BL2 B. I think it's meant to say Beelzebub, but it's got like numbers in, with it. Uh, code gluttony, it sort of repeats. So he is classed as one of like the uh, seven great demon lords. And yeah. Uh, caution Purgatory level 6 because he's a badass so I really had to get this yeah. so let's crack it open oh that's already looking nice inside so go for the least exciting bit you get like a little tab up here with Beelzemon I'll repeat that logo got given a wee little Beelzemon sticker dude oh focus focus for me Focus. It's not going to focus, is it? No. Alright, that's the best we can get. I'll take some photos or something later. But I do have a Bielsen on one somewhere. I'll probably put that later in the video. But yeah, cool. And you get a little card. A little business card. Oh, and a little... Nice, little like a uh, holographic thing. Well, not holographic, but it's like a clear plastic key card with the Bielsen one on it. Nice. Okay, let's get this out delicately. So I'm going to try and use this as my, my trades binder or something because I don't really have an official trades binder. I mean, it's strange. Um, Bandai have loads of like um, play mats for Digimon, but there's no like official binders. I mean, missing out on the market there, Bandai. I'm just going to place that there for the time being. All wrapped up in packing stuff. Ooh, nice crackly colour as well. So go great with my theme. Alright, I'm going to reveal this backwards. Oh, that feels kind of nice. Material is uh, got an odd feel to it. Not like the other binders I have. I'm not sure if it's real leather or not, but it feels nice. It's in spongy. Alright, let's go to the front. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I like that. So it's got like a yeah, you can see sort of like the sheen to it. It is like embossed, so these parts are the raised edges, and the shiny stuff is sort of like, yeah, like a different material, like a glossy. Wow, that does look really nice. So if you were going to use this as a straight up like uh, purple card binder, this will be so fitting for it. I do kind of hope that in the future there might be sort of like a theme for each color, like purple Beelzemon, maybe something like uh, Magna Angemon for yellow. One would hope and dream, but I definitely wanted this because the other one, man, you know. <laughs> so, quite sturdy design, stitching's pretty good. I don't want to mess around with it too much in case I do break it. Um, zip, let's see how smooth the zip feels. Yeah, it's not too bad, not tugging anywhere. Yeah, that was pretty smooth. Nice. So, let's open this up. Oh, nice. So, oh, that's really stiff. Oh yeah, <laughs> like some of the ones I've seen is kind of like a soft inner, inner like packaging. Uh, these feel, they're all side loading. I believe it's um, like a standard 180 pages or something, not 180 pages, but 180 slots to fill cards with stuff. Yeah, and how's the inside feel? Kind of like, um, like the generic inserts that you'll find in like a uh, name escapes me, so like Ultimate Guard. I've got some other ones like Top X or Volt X or whatever it is. So yeah, 
it's like the things you normally find, but it's just, it's an actual Digimon theme one. So what I will do, I'll, I'll cut the chit chat. I'm going to put some of my like, um, uh, shiny cards that don't belong in a way or sort of like specialty cards inside here. And yeah, I'll just show off a bit of my collection as well. So you're going to get a bit of a double whammy video. Not only is it a delivery package, but also showing off my binder. Okay. Um, it's probably going to be a couple of clicks for you, but it's probably going to be like a whole day for me just sorting this binder out. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, that took a lot longer than I originally planned. I've been doing this for probably a few hours trying to sort this out, this binder out. Um, went through a first rendition, ran out of space, went through a second rendition, still didn't have enough space. So I cut a lot of things down. I don't have any of my yellow and purple cards in here, unfortunately. I do have other binders for those, but I kind of need Yusaki drawers to make another binder. <laughs> Preferably something that's in yellow. So yeah, Magnandramon binder, please. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly show off some of the uh, cards from the other colors that I have. Uh, I do have multiples of some of these, but I've only got a room for like one of each, mostly. So got here the uh, Participation 2021 Guide Force, and you got like some of the Digifest ones. So I've laid those out as best I could. It's gonna be a bit of reflection, but oh well. And I probably will do a better video showing the collection that I've got so far. I'm not gonna master, is it master collection? Any of these, It's these are just cards that I just so happen to have. Uh, so yeah, it's got some old hearts there. So I tried to lay it out as sort of like participation event cards. Then we got some old hearts. Then it starts off with like the promos. I thought like things like the tournament participations and the promos and the old tarts were a bit nicer to display like separately individually um, and then we get to like the starter deck cards and like the uh, set cards so I do have multiples or some like I said but I'm only gonna put one of each in here just to just because so these are all the red cards and then it finished off with like EX01 try not make it <laughs> hit the lens flare too much and then we get some of the uh, Tamer cards. So again, got multiples of these, but you know, just one, one of each. And I don't unfortunately have the BT1 tie either. That was a real shame that we're not getting the Gammon starter deck, but oh well. Next we get to the Blues. So yeah, same thing again with the uh, first tournaments. And then you get the old hearts. And then we start to get onto the promos at the bottom. More promos. I got so many zero cards. It's uh, insane. I should probably make a zero deck again. Uh, then we get to the set cards and well, the starter decks. Set cards. And finishing on the EX cards. And there we. <laughs> I was kind of surprised how many blue tamers I have since I don't really play like. That I normally predominantly play yellow and purple. I've got quite a decent amount of like other color cards. Oh, my mum's probably going to be um, wanting to claim some of these, but oh well. Uh, green, so participation. Uh, some old hearts. Um, the starter deck, the newest starter deck, the Imperial Driven one, does come with like a reprint of like an old art card, so that's why I put that in the old art because, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we get to the promos at the bottom here. And then the set cards. And finish off the yeah. X. So yeah, not much on green. I am not sure what that was outside. Probably a bike backfiring. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, then we get to the table cards. I was starting to run out of space because I was trying to leave like at least a page when I do get more cards in, but yeah, running low on space. So we get to the black cards again, starting off with participation. Not much in the terms of participation prizes cards, but oh well. Then we get to the alt arts. It took me a while to figure out that this Andromon was an actual alt art. I only like, stumbled across it just now and thinking, oh, it is an alt art. Alt arts more, and 
starter decks and set releases. I don't have as many black cards. I got multiples of them, but not many blacks. But I've never really played many black decks either. And then we get to the tamers. And next we get to the white cards. So participation, old hearts. And then the sets. I wonder if a white star deck would be good. It'd probably be something like Eosmon or something, or even a Diaboromon white deck, but then I wouldn't work for the black. Oh well, who knows. Uh, got Paladin mode, let's start to finish off the EXs, and the Tamers. Again, I have multiple Tamers, but yeah. Oh, I should probably point out as well, actually, all the cards in here are the ones that are shiny shiny. So, I've got like a uh, I've got like the uh, Takumis and the uh, uh, Matt and Tai uh, dual tamer cards, but I wanted to put like the shiny stuff in there because I'm a magpie apparently. <laughs> and next we finish off with all the like, uh, memory gauges from like starter decks and participations. So we've got the Gallopmont starter decks and the Old Four starter deck memory gauges. This is the participation for the 2021. And finishing off with the Imperial Dramon and Annual Monster decks. Uh, Master Monster decks. So yeah. Uh, what do I think of this binder? It's good. It, um, I have noticed that some of the uh, some of the edging does seem to tear a little. That could be my fault, but um, I kind of rough handle my other binders and it doesn't seem to tear off that easily. It's not enough for it to damage, but it's mostly happening like in the center of like the spaces. But all in all, I still think this is a pretty top quality binder, so I'm I'm happy I bought it. And yeah, just to show off what I was mentioning earlier, um, so it came with the Bielzamon sticker, and I got the Bielstar one, one from the previous order. So yay! Awesome. Um, one other thing I was going to show off or not show off, but actually open, I finally got the participation prizes from the Ultimate Cup. So, I didn't come anywhere substantial, so there's my participation prize, a Demi Vimon. Yeah, yeah, it focuses. I figured out how to do autofocus on OBS. Um, probably something I should have figured out soon, a lot sooner. So yeah, that's my participation prize. And you also get, uh, so event packs, so again, I didn't come up that substantial, so event pack twos. I did get event pack twos back in Digifest. I think with those I was able to get Anubismon and I think it was Soundbird alt art. So I wouldn't mind an Impmon because an Impmon does, well, is quite sought after. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, open this on camera. Okay, I'm gonna open it upside down for that little bit of mystery. Although I would like a Bushi Agabon as well. That is a uh, nice artwork to have. So what we got? Okay. No, I'm, I'm happy with that one as well. The Jessmon one. Yeah, I do like that. Oh, please focus. Please, come on. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that, that is actually a really nice artwork. I do like that. Nice. Um... Of course, I'm not a big, a big red player, but still, artwork's really nice. And what else? What else? Just one imp mom. Just one imp mom. Okay, not an imp mom, but another Anubis mom. But in all fairness, the Anubis mom artwork is pretty top. I mean, you got to just look at that. It's utterly amazing. So, yeah. Um, not exciting video, but it was mostly just to show off the binder and to open up some packs. And you know what I just realized? I'm gonna have to <laughs> put these inside here and rejig things around again. Oh god, <laughs> I just realized my mistake. I should have done this later. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, that was just like the quick show off and I guess a quick review of like the Yusaki Draws um, binder that I bought. I would like another binder from them if possible. Like I said, a yellow one. Magna Angemon, please. Please. Pretty please. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything. Thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I probably will do a better binder show-off later on. 
because I do have purple and yellow cards and different binders all organized a different way. So we'll see about that. But yeah, thanks for joining me and you take care guys. Thank you, take care. Bye.